Run a briefing for the first race of the 2022 Fox Superflow Sealed by Stan's race here in Orimba. And let's start with the weather, then we talk about the trails. And then uh, if you are a repeat offender of Rocky Trail Racing, you can probably turn off the video by then, because I'm going to go into more details of how that race actually works, because we believe we have a lot of first-time Rocky Trail racers, which is super cool. All right, let's talk about the weather first. We obviously had a bit of rain uh, yesterday and the day before. Not too much, I say about 12 mil, uh, just enough to dampen down the trails a little bit. And the forecast for the next few days, fingers crossed, is looking really, really good. So we do expect the odd shower to come through, but overall, throughout the day, not a lot of moisture. So that's good, and it's going to keep the trails nice and tacky with a bit of luck. It's just going to be near perfect, and temperature-wise, it could not be better. So the stinking hot days and weeks that we had are now gone for a few days, and it's going to be really, really nice temperature, sort of low 20s overcast. So perfect for racing. Speaking of racing, we have three trails on offer. The laser track is the Amaru track, and this is the new edition. The top section of that is going to be in the new edition this year. We haven't raced there before, and I rode it last week, and it's absolutely amazing. So huge props to the Orimba Mountain Bike Club who keep uh, the older trails in really good shape. And uh, yeah, the top new section, brand new. You'll absolutely love it. it uh, it's one of those trails that's ha easy to ride and gets progressively harder as you want to get fast on it. But lots of nice little, little doubles, little jumps, nothing uh, extreme in there. But once you get the gas on, you can uh, really fly a lot. Spend a lot of air time on that trail if you choose to. That spits you out onto the section of Amaru, the lower section that we've raced before. Again, that does get a little bit, bit rougher, rougher, a bit more technical, but again, nothing overly crazy in there. Uh, to get up there to the start, the start's all the way at the top. As always, no shuttles at our events, so you have to ride and make your way up. If you have a friend, if he wants to give you a push, that is, uh, that is allowed, but obviously no shuttles as always. Yeah, right all the way to the top. Uh, we will have uh, quite a lot of signs and, and, and traffic marshals out there this weekend. So it won't be hard to miss. It's very easy to get to the track in terms of finding it. But yeah, it's a bit of a climb, but once you take your time, it's not that hard. The other two tracks, Fox and Stans, they start at a section called uh, Centrelink. It's going to be new this year because last year we couldn't use it because it was, uh, I think, too fresh and too wet still. But this year it should be absolutely perfect. Nice little jumps that uh, lead you into it. And they are starting uh, on the, uh, just after BK Express. So if you want to, the best way to get to those trails is through the inside of the park. Uh, and so they're all going to be signposted. So super easy to find from, from the event venue if, if you don't know the, the area too well yourself. Anyway, so you come back, back to the top there. You have one start for two trails. Get into the first uh, few jumpy sections. <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see who's going to get uh, some airtime on those because you need to pedal into them. And then after probably about 100 meters, you the trail splits and then you either stay left and do the uh, bottom bit of the downhill track or you stay right on the flow trail. It is going to be the same layout we had last year. Nice, fun, flowy trails. And as always, we can't finish right at the bottom of the trails because the reason is I'm running out of phone reception there. And of course, you want to have live results. So we're finishing where we had them last year, sort of a little bit higher, but just as an explanation why why the last few uh, uh, bits are not in it. It is pretty much where the phone reception cuts out. That's where we're going to have the finish line. Those are the three tracks that we have on offer. Let's go through the process of uh, if you are uh, at the first time at a Fox Superflow race. So you obviously you chose your day. It's either Saturday or Sunday. The reason we introduced that is because we uh, got so the races got so popular, which is absolutely amazing. The race is almost sold out this weekend. I think Sunday is almost sold out. Saturday we still have a few spots left. Saturday, speaking of Saturday, also we got uh, Jack Moyer coming, signing autographs again. So uh, that worked. That was really cool. In a while, he's gonna be as he's still in the country. We're getting him down to Arimba as well. Brought to you by Mountain Bike Direct, our brand new sponsor, who also is giving around around about twenty thousand dollars of vouchers two podium getters of the entire series this year. So if you make it onto a podium this year, uh, we don't have podium presentations as such because the events run over two days. So a lot of the people are obviously gone by the time we know the winners are, but you will get an email after the race with your Mountain Bike Direct voucher that you can <clears throat> choose for anything of those many, many uh, cool items that they sell online. 
you come to the event center, park your car somewhere. It will be busy, so but you park up and down that, that road, you'll uh, we'll have people to direct you. Come uh, and see us in, at Reggio. There you get your number plate. And if you were on a podium at the previous event, you can have a series plate from us. You get that at the start of, uh, of the registration if you haven't got one already. We're signing up for the race, so you get that. And then, uh, yeah, anywhere after nine o'clock, the race starts. You have until 3.30 to do all your race runs. You need to do one valid run on each track in order to be in the results. And you can up to do up to five runs per track and your fastest one counts. Don't worry, five runs is more than enough. Uh, there's only very, very rarely do we see somebody actually getting in the 15 runs. I think it's only a handful of people who've achieved that over the years. So you have, yeah, all, all day to do those runs. So smart ways to do sort of an introductory run, try to get a, a, a time on the board, and then on your second uh, second loop, try to find uh, those valuable seconds. You are self-sufficient, so you gotta like, yeah, look after after your bike. At the events in that usually we have uh, we have mechanics mobile mechanics this weekend our um, bikes and shocks they just called us that their apartment was flooded and so uh, unfortunately they can't make it this weekend so it's a good idea to bring uh, maybe an extra tube in case you have a flat tire or any any other dramas out there this weekend in terms of food we have Anthony from the daily espressos he's gonna be there on uh, on Saturday and Sunday so um, yeah, coffee and all that is uh, food is sorted for you on at the event center. Um, once you've done your runs, whip out your phone or go back to the to the car, look at the, at a tablet, or come and, and talk to us, and, and you can get your time. So within I don't know something like 10, 10, 15 seconds of you crossing the finish line, your time will be up on the website. The link is rockytrailracer.com is the easiest way to get to the results page. And then you can check your times, compare them with everybody else and see where you're at throughout the day. Something bad happens. If you hurt yourself, if you come off, come, uh, yeah, wait for either the next rider to come and, and, and give you a hand and let us know what's going on. Or if you can uh, just ride out, we have uh, first aid stations, one at the finish of Laser and one at the finish of Stance and Fox. So they're just sort of finished at very much the same area. So you're going to have first aid at the bottom of those trails. To be notified if something went wrong and someone needs help out there that's pretty much all i got for you if you got any questions if you're confused about the format any of that super easy just come everybody's friendly it's a very friendly atmosphere everybody who's racing there like yeah majority of people would have done it before so just ask around ask them for help or come to any of us and we'll explain you how it works but uh, like everybody else you'll get the hang of it very very quickly and i'm sure we're gonna see you at many 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 Fox Superflow sealed by stands throughout the season. Whoop!